undefeated Y'all that I run things, y'all better believe me. Spin the earth on my finger like round ball on my globe trotter. That's easy. No lie. What up, everybody in the YTBC? So, before I get started with the video, just want to give a big old shout out to Rasclot 222. He did a video yesterday. It's a response to John Boxing. In regards to um, real triple or triple G fans who actually want Triple G to fight Laura, it's a great video. I think you should check it out. Um, you should also check out John Boxing. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the video now. Um, as far as Triple G fighting Laura, I would like to see that fight too. And I'm definitely not no I'm definitely not no um casual fan. I don't I don't like to use the word hardcore either. I wouldn't call myself hardcore. I've grown up watching boxing. Um as a kid, I used to hate it. <laughs> It just wasn't something that was interesting to me. You know, I was like your typical kid into superheroes, um, you know, into cartoons. So, you know, it was, don't, don't hold it against me. And um, when I got older is when I got into it more. But um, I've pretty much grown up around it all my life. But... I don't consider myself a hardcore fan because, you know, I don't, or a historian or anything like that, because throughout my life, even as an adult, there's been points where I've been really into the sport, and then where I've kind of put it on the back burner, but, um, you know, for the past, I would say, three years, I've been following it um, consistently, and, um, you know, now that I've kind of got involved in the YTBC, I don't really see myself walking away from it again. I think that was really the biggest problem is I really didn't have anybody else to really talk to about it. And I think everybody else in the YTBC has that, you know, is just, it's just a similar situation. Other than the YTBC, you really don't have many people to talk to about boxing. So that that's that's a little bit of you know a brief of my background as far as the sport of boxing is concerned. You'll never really hear hear me call myself a hardcore boxing fan. There's a reason why I use the word student in my name um, because I am you know I'm I'm knowledgeable, but I'm not gonna act like I'm all knowing and um, not gonna act like I've kept up with the sport for a very very long time but I have been around it all my life so and um but I do consider myself to be a real oh, excuse me a real boxing fan so that being said I'm going to continue with um with what I'm talking about here so yes I do want to see Triple G fight Laura and I don't think Triple G is ducking Laura. All right, I've I've said this in my call out, you know, the art of the call out video. Just because somebody calls somebody out, that shouldn't impress you. In fact, you know, if anything, if that does impress you then you should be even more impressed with Triple G because Triple G has gone as far as to go over to the UK and try to make a fight with Saunders, making offers of millions, which is a lot more than what Laura has done. So, and um, one very good point that Rasclot222 made that, you know, 
really stuck with me and I never really thought of it this way. So, you know, big, big respect to him for kind of opening my eyes on this. But, you know, a lot of people are saying Triple G should move up. Well, wait a minute. Triple G is the one who is willing to fight everybody. It's the others who are not willing to fight him. Okay, if they're not willing to fight him, aren't they the ones who should be moving up? Because they, you know, they're not willing to challenge the, you know, the biggest threat in the division. So if they're not willing to do so, shouldn't they be moving up or moving down, seeking, um, seeking the campaign in a different division? I think a lot of the fans have this shit ass backwards and it, it you know it just doesn't make any sense to me why there is all this animosity toward any fighter and it's always toward the ones with the biggest fan bases um or the most outspoken fan bases I should say so it, it doesn't make sense to me why there's so much of this animosity toward Triple G. Um, you know, I've heard so much defending on Canelo's part. And I'm not going to bash Canelo anymore as far as, you know, I've, I've done that multiple times. So I'm not going to do it again. But I will say this, you know, I've, I literally heard somebody say, He's not a true middleweight. He he beat Kodo and he just so happened to win the WBC middleweight belt. I don't know that I've ever heard a bigger crock of shit. Because Canelo could have very easily beat Kodo and not paid the sanctioning fee. In which he would have not been given the WBC middleweight title. In which he would not have the obligation to fight his mandatory who is currently Triple G. So that right there is like one of the biggest pieces. That, that's one of the biggest shitty arguments I've heard for this. You mean to tell me. That Canelo is the victim because he chose to pay a sanctioning fee. He could have walked away with more money and and less headache. But no, he decided to pay the sanctioning fee to become the champion for a belt that he has no intentions of defending at that weight. But you want to defend that shit. It's really, really annoying. And big shout out to Brendan Keeler because this is another problem that I see with this is a lot of people seem to ignore the argue the division argument when it comes to Ward fighting Triple G. Everybody said, "Why didn't he fight Ward? Why didn't he fight Ward?" Well, first off. That was a fight that doesn't need to happen. Like, a lot of people act like that was a fight that needed to happen. These guys are in two different divisions. I don't think either of them ducked each other. Okay? It was a fight that it would have been nice to have. They went into negotiations, and it didn't work out. Which is fine. Like, I don't understand why some people are so hung up on it. But they are in two different weight divisions. And Ward hasn't even been able to make weight at his, at the 168 weight division for some time, apparently. That's, that's supposed to be why he fought Paul Smith at a catch weight of 172 pounds. He could have went and sought to fought, fight a fight at 168 why didn't he try to fight the gale trust me i'd give him more credit for fighting the gale at 168 pounds than 
Paul Smith at 172. Why did he do that? Because he can't make the weight anymore, apparently. So it's a different weight class. You can't, if he doesn't fight somebody else who's in a completely different weight class, it's not a duck. Okay. Now Canelo, on the other hand, is fight it has a middleweight belt. That means he's fighting in the same division as Triple G. He's not in a different weight division. Triple G's trying to fight him. And that's the other thing. Why are people like just not like how is it an excuse that these guys don't want to fight him? What is the sport that we watch? What is the sport that we talk about in the YTVC every single day? It's boxing. And boxers are also referred to a lot of times as fighters. But in the 160 pound division, I'm not seeing a lot of fighters. I'm seeing a lot of pussies and a lot of fans who are defending these pussies because they don't want to fight. What sense does that make? doesn't make any so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because i got i got work today and i got you know stuff i gotta take care of so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up with this all right we need to stop the bullshit we need to call it down the middle all right i see a lot of people just being hypocrites hyper criticizing to no end just to defend bullshit I can honestly say that it feels the other way around and Triple G was trying to drain another fellow 160 pounder that I would not be cool with that. If he, it was the other way around and he was trying to do that to Canelo, I didn't even like that he was trying to do that with, with Andre Ward. But the fact of the matter is, you're talking about two different weight divisions. So it wasn't all that outrageous but when you got two beat people in the same weight division and one of them is trying to drain the other and then people are cool with that you gotta question it you gotta question it and I know I know that if Triple G were doing that I would have a problem with it and I also know that certain fuck boys I'm not going to say no names, but y'all know who they are. Those people who were just in love with Cinnabons. They would be all right. Or they would be, sorry, I said that backwards. They would be outraged if Triple G tried to drink Canelo. But see, that is what separates the wheat from the chaff that's what separates the fans from the fanboys anyways i think i've said my piece to all my subscribers anybody who watches my videos or if you just so happen to stumble upon this video hope you have a wonderful and blessed day peace you know